Dr. Weir wanted to know if they actually understood how their tools worked and were the crows really planning ahead. To try and find out, he devised an experiment to see if they could use a series of tools in a sequence. This experiment is designed to test whether they can use one tool to retrieve another tool that they need to get food. So what we've got here is two tubes. Um, one tube contains um, some meat at about 25 centimetres inside it, and the other tube contains a long tool that they can use to get the meat, but it's out of reach of their beaks. His pupil, Weck, has to use a short tool to retrieve the long tool in a tube, which can then be used to reach the reward. What we're interested in asking is, firstly, are they able to do this at all? So, are they able to inhibit their desire just to get the meat straight away and actually use the tool to retrieve the other tool? easily work the puzzle out. People use the term bird brain to refer to people they think are particularly stupid. But I think that our work with New Caledonian crows and other people's work with a whole range of different bird species shows that this is completely underestimating their abilities. And in fact, there's no reason to believe that birds as a whole are any less intelligent than mammals.